in this morning's Health Watch, boosting your brain power. Our brains actually shrink as we age, but there are things we can do every day to keep our minds sharp and our memories intact, as our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is about to explain. Good morning, Harry. And what was this segment about again? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, among the largest organs in our body, along right. with our skin, uh, the brain is, is way up there in terms of uh, its size. Right. How do we make the most of it? Well, you know what the most important thing here, Harry, is that the brain today, in terms of medical and scientific research, is really where the heart was 20 years ago. We are learning so much more every single day about the brain and how we can protect it. And one of the things that's come out recently is that the, the power of a power nap or sleep mm -hmm. is critically important to how our brains function, oh. how we process new memories, mm -hmm. how we kind of download all of the experiences we have during the day. Right. It's important to get your seven to nine hours of sleep a night. but power napping, just right. short naps during the day can be also really important. The other thing I heard was the quality of the conversations you have can actually help your brain? Exactly, and you hit the nail right on the head, pardon the pun, the quality of that conversation. So a study out of Michigan found that people who had really pleasant social conversation mm -hmm. as short as 10 minutes mm -hmm. did better in terms of weeding out the distractions, processing new memories and facts right. than people who had competitive conversations. So it actually really does your brain good to have a nice, pleasant social conversation, the kind you would if you're trying to meet someone. Huh, how about that? Maybe that's why I'm feeling so much smarter, because we have these, <laughs> these chats all the time. Exactly. Uh, now, talk about ways to revitalize your brain cells. Is, well, there, is that really possible? Again, new research in the last few months has really shown that exercise, we know that the things that are good mm. for the heart are good for the brain. The thinking here is that when you do cardiovascular exercise, right walking, aerobic activity, that it actually boosts blood flow to your brain yeah. and helps to prevent or slow the shrinkage that, as you said, yeah. all of us experience as we age. I, do, I don't know if it's intuitive or whatever it is, but I know when I exercise, I feel like I'm getting more oxygen in my well, brain. Well, when your heart pumps more yeah. blood to the rest of your body, the brain is getting a big majority Things you should eat for a healthy brain. Again, now, you want to have a well-balanced diet and you want to eat well, again, for your heart, for mm -hmm. your waistline, but also for your brain. And when you talk about a good brain diet, again, right. you're talking about leafy green vegetables like kale and spinach, foods that are rich in vitamin D like fortified milk right. or eggs, um, seeds like almonds or sunflower this seeds. kind of the same standard stuff. Here. Very important. Right. And fish, which have the omega-3 fatty acids sure. like salmon, mackerel, all good for your and what's brain. And what's bad for the brain? You know, the things that are bad for the brain, again, are bad for the rest of you. Smoking, high cholesterol, right. brain trauma, concussions. Mm, of course. You want to try to avoid that. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you very you much. Bet, Harry.